If you live with PCOS, you may have experienced the unpleasant symptom of facial hair growth. In the science world, this is known as hirsutism. Today, we're going to go over what causes hirsutism and how you can uncover your root cause that contributes to facial hair growth so you can manage it once and for all. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a clinical nutritionist with a special interest in PCOS. Each week, I'm bringing you simple, actionable nuggets of information about PCOS and how you can support your symptoms naturally by following the Nourish Natural Health PCOS repair protocol. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's dive in. So first, let's talk about how PCOS hair growth occurs. PCOS is caused by hormonal imbalances, which go on to cause all different kinds of pesky symptoms. There is a certain type of hormone called androgens. These are male-like hormones, which are particularly high in those living with PCOS. Essentially, high androgen levels go on to wreak havoc in your hair follicles. Around the male hair growth pattern, the hair follicles particularly react to androgen hormones. And this stimulates facial hair growth. Those living with PCOS have elevated androgenic levels. This can be due to all different kinds of things, which is why it's important to identify what the root cause of your PCOS is, because that will in turn give you an answer as to why your androgen levels are high. Things like a sensitive reaction to stress, insulin resistance, or even cystic ovaries themselves can produce high androgen levels. And not only do high androgen levels promote facial hair growth, but they also clog your pores, creating acne, and they can also cause your hair to fall out, resulting in PCOS hair thinning. Androgen levels also influence the menstrual cycle, which is why people with PCOS have irregular menstrual cycles because of the hormonal imbalances that prevent ovulation. So if high androgen levels are the cause of hirsutism, then what is causing the high androgen levels? This is where it's really important to get to know what the root cause of your PCOS is because this will provide the answers that you're looking for. There are four types of PCOS, insulin resistant PCOS, adrenal PCOS, post pill PCOS, and inflammatory PCOS. All these root causes of PCOS have a significant impact on your hormonal balance. Up to 80% of PCOS cases are caused by insulin resistance, which means a lot of PCOS management tips and techniques do come down to managing insulin resistance. However, managing stress and implementing exercise are both very important when it comes to managing your hormonal imbalances, however they're caused. If this is the first time you've heard about the four different types of PCOS, then you can get more information on our YouTube channel where we have done a full video that goes in depth about the four different kinds of PCOS. You can also head over to the Nourish Natural Health website where you can take a quiz that will determine what the root cause of your PCOS is. From there, you can begin to set out your PCOS management plan so you can be in control of your pesky symptoms, including facial hair growth. So now that we know that PCOS facial hair growth is caused by high androgen levels, what can we do to manage high androgens? So step one is to block your androgens. This will give you quick relief and give you the confidence that you need to begin your PCOS management journey. Here at Nourish Natural Health, our best-selling Androgen Blocker Plus does exactly this. This is a supplement specifically crafted for those living with PCOS with evidence-backed ingredients and is an incredibly high quality product. The Androgen Blocker Plus will help to lower your androgen levels, which will help with all the symptoms, including PCOS facial hair growth. Once your symptoms are lowered, you will then have the capacity to go forth and to naturally manage your PCOS with specific steps. Now, this is not a long-term fix, but it does help you in the short term whilst you're trying to figure out your body. Second tip is to follow the PCOS Repair Breakfast Protocol. At Nourish Natural Health, we believe that one of the most impactful changes that you can make to your diet is on your breakfast. And this is because what you eat at breakfast has a massive impact on your blood sugar levels throughout the day. And since insulin resistance is the cause in up to 80% of PCOS cases, managing your blood sugar levels is key to managing your insulin, which is also key to managing your high adrenal levels. Are you following me here? <laughs> Essentially, in the morning, we want to make sure that you're setting up your day with a good source of protein. Protein will help you keep fuller for longer and it will also stabilize your blood sugar spikes. In the PCOS Repair Breakfast, we recommend 30 grams of protein coupled with a low starchy vegetable. This could be cauliflower or kale or asparagus or anything else that is low in starch. You can have starchier items throughout the day, but just not at breakfast because we wanna make sure that your blood sugar levels are really well regulated first thing in the morning. 
What this actually does is it prevents crashes later on in the day and it also stops those crazy hanger levels that you may experience after eating a huge carb rich breakfast. You can also pair your breakfast with low sugar fruits. Things like berries work really well and they are also potent anti-inflammatories, which help mop up any inflammation that's going on in your body, which if you have PCOS, you likely have some sort of low grade inflammation as well. So pairing your 30 grams of protein with berries is a really great way to make sure you're hitting your target. We also wanna make sure that we're not consuming grains at this time or any other high sugar foods. This means we're staying away from things like legumes, rice, oats, and especially sugar sugary cereals. Managing facial hair growth means we need to manage your insulin levels and this begins at breakfast. And tip number three is to drink two cups of spearmint tea every day. That is spearmint, not peppermint. <laughs> We have found that spearmint tea lowers androgen levels in those living with PCOS and two cups a day is an achievable and recommended amount. You can enjoy your first cup of spearmint tea at the beginning of the day after you have your breakfast and you can enjoy your second cup later on at night as you're winding down for bed. This is a fantastic habit that you can implement really easy to help get your androgen levels under control. When it comes to managing your PCOS, we cannot forget that a holistic approach is best. This means exercise and lifestyle have a significant effect on lowering your androgen levels which go on to help manage your facial hair growth. Resistance exercise is fantastic for those living with PCOS. This is because resistance training helps to build muscle and muscle is key to metabolic regulation. This is because muscle very easily intakes glucose, which helps to offset the insulin resistance that many people living with PCOS face. And if you can manage your insulin resistance, then we can go on to manage your excess androgen levels, which will then help to manage facial hair growth. And if you are living with adrenal PCOS, this essentially means that your body has an abnormal reaction to stress. This means that HIIT style workouts happening every single morning or every single day could actually be detrimental for your PCOS journey. Really intense exercise tends to put your adrenal glands under pressure. For a normal person, this is fine, but for those living with adrenal PCOS, what this does is it actually speeds up the process of converting your stress hormones into potent androgens. These are the same androgens that interact with your hair follicles and stimulate facial hair growth. So if you wanna be managing facial hair growth, we need to be doing some kind of gentle exercise that includes resistance training. And lastly, in order to manage high androgen levels so that we can manage facial hair growth, we need to have a chat about sleep. Good consistent sleep is one of the key factors in regulating your hormones. Essentially, whilst you sleep, your body takes a break and your digestive system takes a break. And if we don't sleep when we're supposed to be sleeping, the body can't take that break. Long-term chronic disrupted sleep does have a detrimental impact on your hormones, specifically insulin. And when we think about insulin, we think about PCOS, because like we've said, up to 80% of cases of PCOS are caused by insulin resistance. Essentially, poor sleep can really impact the insulin levels in your body the next day and how your body responds to insulin. It also influences your hunger hormones, raising the hormone ghrelin and lowering the hormone leptin, which is the fullness hormone, meaning you're hungrier the next day, but you're also hungrier for more carb-rich, sugary foods. So poor sleep can actually lead you to making unhelpful food choices. And those unhelpful food choices are driving high androgen levels, which drive facial hair growth. It is all connected. <laughs> all of these steps are brilliant management tools to not only manage your facial hair growth, but also your PCOS in general. If you're still stuck, make sure you visit the Nourish Natural Health website. This is where you can take the quiz that we were discussing earlier about which type of PCOS you have. Check out our best-selling Androgen Blocker Plus and join our PCOS community so that you know that you're not going through this alone. We have a community with so many women who are all supporting each other and we want you to come along. If you have any more questions about hirsutism, facial hair growth, or any other symptoms relating to PCOS, leave them in the comments below and we would love to have a chat. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you won't miss the next video about PCOS. Have a good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.